Notepad is a simple yet very powerful text editing tool that comes pre-installed with any version of Windows. So in this course, we're going to take a look at the application and explore all of the things that this little tool uh, needs to provide. So over here, when you open up Notepad, this is what you see. On the top left, you can see that there's the file menu, which has the saving and opening option, printing options, and so forth. On the edit area, you can see that there's finding and uh, let's say, for example, replacing option and so forth right here. And on view, you got different view options, which allows you to zoom in and then um, uh, enabling and disabling option for status bar and web wrap. And that's it. And on the top right, you can see the settings uh, button right here. So I'm using Notepad for Microsoft Windows 11, which is the latest version of Notepad. In the older version, you don't see this. So I'm going to go around and click on settings. And here you can see all of the details about the app as well. So in this course, we're going to take a look at all of the options that the uh, tool provides for you to work around with text with A's. So over here, you can see the Notepad app is opened up. And if you want to work around with text, you can click on the blank area and simply type in. So let's say, for example, I'm going to say, welcome to uh, this Udemy course right here and type in a period. And you can see that I have a sentence right here. So now if you want to, let's say, for example, revert back, you can press Control Z on your keyboard to actually go back a step or you can go around on to edit right here and then press undo as well if you want to as you can see right here so you want to go a step back you can press undo right there so i'm just going to go around and type in again so i'm going to say welcome to udemy course right here so this is one let's press enter and i'm going to say we are going to learn uh let's say for example a lot about notepad so let me just type in you can go around and type this so if i were to press ctrl z you can see that since i did everything all at once uh you can see like a step back is you know, all of the sentence going at once so i'm just going to go around over here go around press space right here maybe i'm going to do something right here go around maybe i go to view or something right here just like this so after each of the thing and uh, after uh, each time I type, I'm doing something different. So now they are recorded out as separate steps. So if I were to press Control Z, you can see they go one by one right here, according to the amount of break I had while I was typing. So that is how you can type and then uh, work around with text and then use the undo option to go back um, a step if you want to inside of Notepad. So over here, you can see that I have opened up Notepad and let's say I'm going to type in something like welcome, uh, welcome right here. I'm just going to type in welcome to Udemy right here. So once you type this in, it is not automatically saved out anywhere. So if you were to accidentally close it, then it won't be saved. It's, it will be gone forever. And especially when you type it in a lot of text, it might be a problem if, if it is not saved. So to save this out uh, while um, like uh, it is not saved out um, uh, already, you have to go to file right here. And to know whether some uh, some file is saved uh, not saved out, you can go around on the top and you can see asterisk right here, meaning the file is not saved. So if I were to go around and click on save right here, it opens up the Explorer window in case you haven't saved this out already. Then over here, um, you can navigate around to the folder where you want to save out this file and you can type in the name of the file you want. So I'm just going to go around, type in Udemy right here. And then in my desktop, you will be able to see udemy.txt because that is how the file is saved. So now if I were to close this and double click on this file, you can see that it has been opened up. If I were to make any changes right here and close this, then you can see that uh, uh, Notepad asks me whether I want to save out the edit that I made. So if I were to press don't save, and double click, you can see that the change has not been saved right here. You can also manually keep on saving when you're actually typing. So I'm just going to go around and say, welcome to Udemy. And I'm going to say, hope uh, you will enjoy this course uh, with me. So I'm just going to type this in. And if you want to save, you can press Control S on your keyboard and that saves it out onto uh, um, uh, this file right here. Or you can go to file and press save right here or when you close. So when you make any changes and you press close, you can click on save to make changes and save it out in the file as well. And that is how you can save out file 
uh, inside of Notepad. So over here, you can see that I have a file which is already saved out. How do I know that is because I have a name right here, .txt, and I do not have any asterisks. And this is the file right here. So the file name without asterisks is uh, the files that are saved out. But let's say I don't want to make any changes to the original file, but I want to make a copy of the file and then start editing that uh, notepad file. In that case, I can go to file right here, click on save as, and then I'm going to go around and choose, let's say, for example, desktop, and I'm going to go around and say uh, Udemy example right here as another name. So I'm going to go around over here and click on save. And what will happen is that it'll create a copy of the file right here. And you can see that Udemy example, this, um, the file that has been copied will be opened up right here. So if I were to go around and make any changes, add things right here, and if I were to save this, then it'll get saved onto the Udemy example file and not onto the Udemy text file. So if I were to close this, I can go around, double click on Udemy, and this is what I have. And if I were to go and click on Udemy example, you will see the file with the changes just like that inside of note, uh, notepad file that you made. So over here, you can see that I have notepad app opened up right here. And if you want to open up um, a file with notepad, you can click on file, then click on open. And then you can go around, navigate to the area where you have your notepad uh, document that is in the format of .txt at the end. You can click on open and it opens up. So what you can also do is uh, if the file format is Notepad itself, if you were to double click on the file, it opens up in Notepad itself, as you can see. What you can also do is, let's say, for example, you have other files. Let's say, for example, like uh, you got Microsoft Office files right here. Uh, you, what you can also do is open them out. Let's say, for example, uh, this is a Microsoft Word document. So if I were to go around and type in something and save it out right here, you can also go around, press uh, go press open in Notepad, go around and then um, over here on the uh, filter section, I'm going to click on all file, choose the Word document, press open, and that file will be opened up over here. Although it will not be in a traditional Notepad file right here, as you can see, you got all of these details right here, but you can view the content of that particular uh, file as well, just like this, as you can see. So over here, you can see that I have a file opened up. And if you want to start working on a new file, you can go around, click on the file menu and click on new and a new file will be opened up. But once you do this, what happens is that the old file that was opened up gets closed down. You can go around over here onto file right here and you can see that on the side, the shortcut key to create a new file is Control N. So if you were to press Control N, a new file will open up in that case as well. What if you want to have the previous file opened up and a new file opened up at the same time? So once I double click, you can see this opens up in a different window. So let's say I want to do the same while uh, the notepad, uh, the file is simply opened up. So in that case, you can click on file and instead of clicking on new, you can click on new window. The shortcut for this is control shift and N. So if you were to click on this, you can see that a new file opens up, but the old file remains there as well. So you can go around and let's say, for example, you can copy uh, things out from here. You can paste things out over here and work around with the file simultaneously. And that is how you can create a new file and use a new window um, inside of Notepad. So to work around with text, you need to know how to cut, copy, paste, and delete out texts. So to do that, over here, you can see that I got a bunch of text. And if I were to click and drag it, then what I can do is I can select out text that I want to work around with. So what I can do is I can right click right here and here you can see cut, copy, paste, and delete are options right here. So if I were to go around and click on cut right here, then you can see that the text cuts out right here. So I'm just going to go around on the top part right here. For the top part, I'm going to right click and delete this so it is completely removed. So the uh, text that I cut is actually not deleted, but it's um, uh, deleted out from the main typing area, but it's saved onto my memory. So if I were to right click and paste, you can see it pastes uh, the cut, cut portion of the text out right there. I can go around and select out, let's say, certain text right here. I can right click. I can copy this out. Let me press enter over here on my keyboard and right click and then paste it. And what happens is that I will be able to see the copy of the exact text right here. 
I can go around onto the edit menu and access out the cut, copy, paste, and delete option over here as well. And you can see shortcut keys uh, for those functions as well. For example, for cut, it's control X. So you can go around, press control V to paste. For copy, it's control C. And you can go around, press control V to paste. You can select uh, some things out and press delete key to delete um, out the uh, text that you don't want. And that's how you can use the cut, copy, paste and delete function inside of Notepad. So over here you can see that I have a text and the text is in the left to right reading format. So starting from Windows 11 in the new version of Notepad, you can change around the reading order of the text as well. So to do that, you can right click and over here you can see that you can go around and click on right to left reading order. And now what happens is that the text uh, aligns out from the right right here as you can see. So it changes out the reading order right here. You can right click and click on right to left reading order again to align it to the left. So you can align text to uh, right or left according to how you like inside of Notepad just like that as well and change around the reading order of the text. So over here you can see that I have uh, some text right here and if I want to let's say search around for, for a certain phrase or a word then I can go around on to edit and then click on find right here. So once I do that over here you can see that you get the search area so now you can go around and search for the word let's say for example scratch right here and press enter and you can see that uh, it shows around the scratch word. So it is showing uh, the scratch on this part because my cursor was somewhere around here. So if I were to press scratch, you can see that this is what you have. But if I have my cursor on the beginning and press enter, you can see that it shows out the word scratch after that cursor right here. You can click on this arrow to go around and search for next, uh, let's say for example, word right here or click on this one to go uh, to the previous search right here. You can go forward and it can go backward as you can see right here and you can go around into edit click on find next or uh, click on find previous to access out the same setting right here as well and that is how you can use the find option inside of notepad so over here you can see that i got a bunch of text and let's say for example uh, you want to replace out a certain word by finding them out then what you can do is you can actually use replace text as an option right here. So to access the replace option, you need to click on edit and here you can see replace as an option. So you can go around and search for the word that you want to replace. So let's say for example, I want to uh, replace out the word learning right here and uh, I'm going to replace it out with the word practicing. So I'm just going to go around and type in practicing right here. So I'm just going to go around, click over here and click on replace all. And now what happens is that you can see the word learning has been replaced out with practicing all over just like that. You can also go around and I'm just going to go, go around and say practicing. So this is going to be the new word that I want to replace. So I'm just going to go around and say practicing and over here I'm going to go around and say practicing in and replace all and the in word will be added in. You can go around over here and access more option as well. And you may want to match case. So right now you can see that the uh, uh, practicing is capital right here. So let me just uh, turn this and uh, let's say for example, I'm going to add in the word learning right here. Press replace all and you can see it is small uh, letter right now. So now uh, if I want to search for the word learning right here, replace it with practice. Practicing. So let me just go around and say this is going to be practicing right here, just like this. And uh, I'm going to go around and press L over here, capital L, and replace all. You can see that it still replaces it out. But you can go around and click on match case. And once you do that, what actually happens is that um, now um, uh, the practicing right here, it has to be small letters. So if I were to go around and choose P right here, I'm going to replace this out as learning, replace it does not find practicing because the case does not match. So once that is on, you have to uh, have the exact uh, uh, capitalization right here. Click on replace and it, you can see that it actually finds it out. So you can replace all now. So that is how you can use the replace option inside of Notepad and replace out the text in one go in the entire uh, text document. So over here you can see that I have a notepad document and if I were to click and drag this around you can see that as I resize this the word wraps around right here. So 
uh, this may be turned or on or off in your case. And if you want to turn this off in case it is on, you can go to the view menu and over here you can see Word Wrap is an option. You should click on Word Wrap and now it is not wrapped anymore. So once you do that, what happens is that you have to scroll all the way as you can see because the word is not wrapped around. So it is just there straight ahead from left to right as you can see right here. If you want it to be wrapped according to the size of the window, just use word wrap option from the view menu. And this is what you have, as you can see. So all the text fits out uh, horizontally. So you just have to scroll out vertically, as you can see right here. So over here, you can see that I got multiple lines on my notepad file right here. So uh, now if I want to go to a particular line, let's say, for example, on the 12th line, then what you have to do is you have to go around into edit, then click on go to right here. So let's say I'm going to type in line 12 and click on go to. So once you do that, it says the line is beyond the total number of lines because but there is more than 12 lines right here. That is because the word wrap is turned on and even the multiple lines, they are squeezed on onto a single line. So in order to use the go to line option properly, you have to first turn off word wrap so that you got a proper number of line right here. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right here now. So there's nine line. So you can go around and then uh, go to, let's say, for example, on to edit click on go to and if I were to go around and press nine uh, right now, you can see that it goes on to the exact ninth line from the top right here. So that is how you can use the go to option inside of Notepad. So over here, you can see that I have uh, this text right here. And if I want to select out a certain portion of the text, then I can go around and simply click and drag that portion right here. So that is how you can do it. But if you want to select it, um, select uh, all of the text, you can simply click and drag out everything or you can go around, right click and click on select all so that all of the texts are selected. You can also go around on to edit and click on select all right here or press control A on your keyboard to select out all text so that it's easy to work with it. So by default, you see a particular font being displayed out in notepad while you're typing. And if you want to go around and then let's say, for example, view a different font, then you can go around and click on edit and click on font. So once you do that over here, you can select out um, um, select out the font that you want. So here you can see that the family being used right now is Calibri. But if I want to change out the font, I can select from all of the fonts that I have installed on my system. Let's say, for example, ink free right here. You can change around the style as well and the font size. So once you do that, all you need to do is click on back and the new font style will be applied onto the entire document as you can see right here. So you don't have a way to uh, display out certain uh, text in certain font. So all of the fonts simply changes out inside of notepad. So you can go around into font as well. And you can see an example over here as well. You can go around, choose the font that you wish. And then what happens is that the font will be changed out over here, as you can see. So that is how you can go around and change the font settings inside of notepad. So whenever you're typing some text, let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and type in welcome to Udemy. And you want to add in a timestamp to it, then you might want to add in date and time. So uh, to do that, you can click on edit. And over here, you can see time and date as an option. And if you were to click on it, you get the exact date of uh, the um, uh, that is you get today's date, and you get the time when you actually clicked on that. You can also go around right here and press F5 on your keyboard to insert out the date and time as well. So that is how you can easily insert out date and time in inside of notepad. So over here, you can see that I have a bunch of text. And let's say I do not want to change out the size of the text right here, but I, I just want to zoom in and see how it looks um, uh, in a larger um, in a larger size. So in that case, what you can do is you can click on the view button over here. And here you can see zoom is an option. So you can go around zoom in right here. And what happens is that the font seems to be larger, but it is just actually zooming in onto the font right here. It's not actually changing out the size. You can go around and zoom out as well. So you can hold control on your keyboard and press the plus button to zoom in. 
and minus button to zoom out as well. So alternatively, you can also hold control on your keyboard and use the scroll mouse button to zoom in and zoom out as well. So you can see that now the font looks really small uh, right here as I zoom out. And if you were to scroll in, the font looks really big right here. So similarly, you can zoom in and out without changing out the font size. And if you want to get back to the default zoom level, you can click on the view menu and then go to zoom and click on restore default zoom. Otherwise, in the keyboard, you can press control zero and it gets back to the font zo default zoom level as you can see in notepad. By using notepad, you can save out your files in various formats. So uh, if you're working around with HTML, what you can also do is uh, you can save out HTML documents. So to work around with one, I'm just going to go around and then uh, let's say, for example, uh, start typing in HTML codes over here. So I'm just going to go around over here and uh, start typing in codes by oh, opening and ending out um, the uh, uh, like real less than and greater than sign. And I'm just going to go around and define the doc type right here. So I'm just going to go around and type in an HTML code right here, a doc type HTML just like this. And I'm just going to go around and start writing out the tag. So for this, you do need to have HTML knowledge. Otherwise, this won't work. So uh, if you're working around with HTML, it does not actually highlight it, but you can make HTML documents just by using Notepad. So you can create an entire web page just by using Notepad itself as well. So I'm just going to go around, open out a body over here as well. So I'm just going to create out a simple HTML tag. You can add in tabs over here as well uh, to go around and restructure it. And then I'm going to go around over here and open out a heading right here as well and close around a heading as well. So I'm just going to go around and say a uh, welcome to Udemy for this one. And then I'm going to go around onto the next line and add in a paragraph over here as well. So I'm just going to go around with the paragraph, open and close this and add in a paragraph over here as well and say this is a a uh, paragraph right here, paragraph just like this. And then I'm going to copy and paste this out. So just like this, I got this out as well. I'm just going to copy out this paragraph as well. And then going to go around, add in a bit of lines right here. Let me just press N and N, N right here. Let me just go around and then uh, hit tab, tab, tab to arrange everything out right here, just like this. So this is what I have. And then I'm going to end this around with a, let's say a heading two at the end. So I'm going to hit tab, tab right here, heading two, and then heading two over here as well. And I'm going to say, um, this is the end, just like this. So I'm just going to say this is the end right here. And now I'm going to go around into file and hit save as. So once I do that, I can go around onto my desktop. And instead of save as type text document, I'm going to select all file. And over here, I'm going to uh, type in, let's say, for example, example dot HTML right here. So once I do that, I can hit the save button. And then this is what I have. So this is an HTML format now. And if I were to double click on this, you can see that it opens it out in a web page format and the styles, the heading style, the uh, heading to style, the paragraph styles, all has been applied. So what you can also do is you can go around and open this out right here with Notepad. So I can choose another program. So let me just go around and expand this out, choose Notepad, press OK. So any HTML file you have, you can open that out with Notepad right here. So I'm just going to say uh, welcome to Udemy course, uh, course on learning Notepad. So I'm just going to go around and say learning uh, Notepad from scratch right here. So once I do that, I'm going to hit save button and I'm going to double click and this is what you have again. So that is how you can work around with Notepad and create an HTML file as well. What you can also do with Notepad is you can work around with command lines and then uh, create um, uh, a command batch file that you can run. So to do that, I'm going to go around and type in at symbol right here and type in echo off. So I'm just going to go around and say echo off. This is what you need to start typing to create a batch file. So if you want to display out something, then you need to type in echo right here. So I'm just going to go around and say echo, welcome to Udemy course right here, just like this. So I'm just going to go around and say welcome to Udemy course. And if you want to now, um, let's say, for example, keep on displaying this, then you have to type in pause right here. So once you type in pause, it'll hold out once you actually go around and 
well, once the uh, command line actually displays out welcome to Udemy course. So once you do that, what uh, what needs to happen is you need to go brown and then type in another command as you wish. Let's say, for example, I want to, uh, let's say, for example, go to D drive. So I'm just going to go around and type in CD and D colon right here. So it'll go to D drive right here. So I can go around and type in pause right here, just like this. And then I can go around and display out the files in D drive. So I'm just going to go around and say, um, D I R and I'm going to say D drive right here. So I'm just going to say D I R D and then pause this out over here again. And let's say I'm going to go around type in echo. I want to display out something and I'm going to go around and say, uh, that's it just like this. And, uh, uh th that will, that'll be it. You can go around over here and type in pause right here. So this is what I have. And I'm going to hit the save button right here. And while you're saving it out, you need to save it out as CMD format. So I'm going to go around and say example.cmd right here and hit the save button, close this out. And you can see that it pops up as a CMD format. If I were to double click this here, it says welcome to Udemy course right here. You can press enter. And what happens is that it goes to D drive, as you can see right here, once you press enter and it displays out everything in D drive, as you can see right here, again, right here, uh, all the commands that I typed in, press enter and it says that's it, press enter and it exits the command line out. And that is how you can create a command batch file by using notepad as well. So over here, you can see that I have a video. And if I were to right click and open this out with VLC media player, then you can see that the video plays out uh, normally and there is no subtitles whatsoever. So if you want to create out subtitles, then you can use notepad as well. So for that, I'm going to go around, drag in the notepad over here on the left side and here to start typing out the, uh, uh, the subtitle, I need to first type in one that is the, uh, that is, uh, the number of the subtitle right here. So this is the first sub subtitle that will appear. So I'm just going to go around and press enter and type in zero, zero, and then zero, zero again, and then zero, uh, zero right here. So I'm just going to go around and over here in the beginning, let me just type in one because I want the subtitle to start at one second. You can also go around, press comma right here and type in, let's say 500 right here. And that means, uh, that will start at 1.5 seconds right here. So I'm just going to go around, type in double dash and greater than sign. And I'm going to type in zero, 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 zero. And then let's say this is going to be zero, two. And then uh, uh, after that, it is going to be 500 again. So that is how it'll be one second long. So here, all you need to do is start typing out the subtitle. So I'm just going to go around and say, welcome to Udemy right here. That is going to be the first subtitle. So all you need to do now is repeat out the process. So you can go around, repeat out the process right here. So I'm going to go around, type in two right here, which is going to be the starting point. And after that, this is going to be three seconds right here, just like this. And I'm going to say, uh, learning, uh, let's say notepad from scratch right here. So I'm just going to type in learning notepad from scratch, uh, just like this. And I'm going to go around again, repeat out the step. Now uh, that is, I'm just going to go around type in three this time. And this is going to be three. And let's say this is going to be 3.1 second right here, or you can be very precise as well and type in four right here. So this is going to say, now uh, this is the last sub. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to go around and type in this. So once I do this, if I want to save this out in, an, um, in a subtitle format, you have to go to file and click on save as. So on the desktop, you can see the video sub right here. Uh, so you all need, all you need to do is select all files and select out the file name so that the same file name is followed out. So instead of MP4, let's just type in SRT right here. So the file name um, for SRT has to be same as the video file that you're seeing. So you need to click on save. And what will happen is that uh, the file will be saved out as an SRT format. So if I were to go around right here, right click and open this out as a VLC media player now. So as the video plays, you can see the subtitles being played out over here. So from the beginning itself, you can see the subtitle that we actually typed in. It got displayed right here. So you can continue out this step right here. So you can go around and uh, let's say open this out 
with notepad right here so any srt file that you may have you can open it out with a notepad and edit this out as well and that is how you can create out subtitles uh, directly from notepad whatever you do inside of notepad what happens is that the details are shown below over here in the status bar you can see the zoom level over here you can see which format this is in uh, over here as well so if i were to click over here somewhere you can see that it uh, denotes the line and column right here and if I were to zoom in, let's say, for example, zoom in, you can see the zoom level over here. For example, this is in 110% now. You can hold control and zoom in. You can see that now I am in 370% right here and so forth, just like this. If I were to go around and save this file, so let's say in desktop, I'm just going to save this uh, in a different encoding format. Then what happens is that uh, I can go around over here, save this out, and you can see that uh, it shows the encoding format details over here as well. So now if I were to, uh, let's say for example, I, I don't want to see the details over here, uh, then what I can do is I can go to view and click on the status bar and the status bar gets disabled as you can see right here. You can also go around, click on view and click on status bar again to get back the status bar as you can see. And that is how you can um, uh, uh, utilize the status bar information and enable and disable status bar inside of Notepad. So by default, Notepad is in its traditional uh, bright format. But if you want to change around the theme to get the dark version of Notepad, then on the top right, you can click on the settings button. So once you go around over there, you can see app theme is an option right here, which you can click on. And here you can see that right now it is taking out the settings from my system. And since my system is in light theme, the um, uh, application itself is in light theme right now. You can go around and press dark. And what happens is that immediately uh, the application turns into a dark theme. So if I were to go back, you can see that now the background is dark and the text is bright. So this is what you have. And if you want to turn it back into light mode, you can go around onto the settings and go to app themes and click on light over here as well. Or you can use the system settings itself so that um, if you want to, it to be synced out with your system settings. And that is how you can change around the app theme inside of Notepad. So over here, you can see that I have a Notepad file with some text. And the format being used for this particular file by default is UTF-8, which is a standard encoding system for uh, .txt files. So if I were to go around into file and hit save right here, then you will be able to see, let me just go around and type in Udemy for example, then what happens is that the encode, encoding by default is UTF-8. But if you want another format, for example, like ANSI, you can select it out and hit save. And what happens is that the format for encoding changes out. So the encoding is just the way that the uh, text file is saved out. So, um, uh, so if you need a different encoding for some reason so that it is supported in some de specific devices, then you might want to consider these things right here. Sometimes TXTs might not get supported in certain devices uh, that might have a different set of encoding right here. Then you can go around and save it out as that particular format and it'll be supported. And that is how you can work around with encoding option while saving out notepad files. So over here, you can see that I have a bunch of text in my notepad. And if you want to print this out, then you may want to work around with page setup first. And to do that, you have to go to file and go to page setup. And once you go around over here, you can see that you get the page setup options where you can set the paper size as you wish. So right now you can see by default, it's uh, letter size right here. So you can go around and select out another paper size that you wish to print your document in. You can also work around right uh, source right here. For example, this is on tray one, A4 size right here. So you can work around uh, whether you want portrait or landscape orientation of the paper size right here. And you can work around with the margins as well. Let's say for example, on the left side, I'm going to keep 1.5 inch right here. And on the right hand side, I'm going to keep one inch. On the top, I'm going to add in 0 0.5. And on the bottom, I'm going to keep 0 0.5 as well. So besides that, you can add in the header and footer right here as well. So I'm just going to go around and type in Udemy uh, course right here, just like this. And this is going to be notepad right here on the footer, just like this. So once you do that, you can go around and press OK. And the page has been set. So now if you were to actually go to 
file and click on print now you can uh, select out your printer and print it out but in my case i'm just going to print it out virtually so i'm just going to go around and select out microsoft printopedia which is a virtual printer of my choice so i'm going to go around and you can set around this printer settings according to how you like it set around the number of copies right here and hit print and what happens is that uh, a pdf will be generated because i actually selected a virtual printer but if you're using a real printer then it'll print it out as long as the printer is online so i'm just going to go around and say sample print right here and press save and now uh, this is print uh, being printed out onto my desktop as you can see so if i were to double click this page out what happens is that uh, this gets printed out as an a4 size paper as you can see right here and this is how it would be printed out if you uh, actually use an actual printer to print your text document you can also save out your text document as a pdf file by using notepad so to do that you need to click on the file button and then you need to go around and click on print option right here so instead of going around and selecting out a printer you need to check this box called print to file so once you do that you can go around choose the orientation that you want the file to be in and even go to more settings to go around and select out a paper size that you want and press OK. So once you do that, all you need to do is click on print. And what happens is that it opens up the Explorer window where you can go around and type in the file name you want. So I'm just going to go around and type in, let's say, for example, Udemy pr uh, uh, print PDF example right here. And you can see that the save as type is a PDF document format right here. And once you hit out the save button, it saves out your file as a PDF document, as you can see right here. So if I were to go around and double click on this, you can see it opens out as a PDF document right here, just like this. So you cannot edit out a PDF document again back in Notepad. But here you can see that once you type something in Notepad and you want to save it as a PDF file, it is completely possible to do so. We have now covered up all of the essential things that you need to get started with editing text inside of Notepad. So whenever we are working with Notepad, you use Notepad to uh, save out quick text. So uh, for an example project, I'm going to go around and type in a text, change its font and then save it out as a PDF document. So over here, I'm going to go around and say uh, hello there. So I'm just going to go around and type this and I'm going to say welcome to this Udemy course, uh, Udemy course where we will be learning, uh, learning notepad from scratch so i'm just going to go around and type in right here so i'm just going to go around and say learning notepad from uh, uh, scratch so uh just like this i'm just going to go around type in this right here so i'm going to press uh note cap pad as capital and simply copy paste this out right here so this is the text that i have and let's say i want to change the uh, format of the text that is the font of the text to something else so i'm going to go around on to uh, uh, the edit section right here and go to font. So once I go around over here instead of Calibri, which is the default font, I'm going to go around and select out something else over here. So let me just go around and select, let's say, for example, Felix. You can see that preview right here. So I'm going to go around and select out, let's say, something like Mango or something like uh, this right here. So let me just go around and choose out the font that I like right here. So uh, all the fonts seems uh, quite formal right here. I'm looking for a font that uh, does not actually uh, that is actually a bit different. So you can go around onto the font and use the scroll mouse button to change around the font over here as well. So this is the font that I'm going to use. So you can see that it has it is italic. So let's say I want the font size to be a bit large, like even uh, 36 right here. So once I do that, I'm going to go back and you can see the font scenes. So if you want to save this out as a PDF document now, you need to click on file and then you need to go around on to uh, page setup right here first. So I'm going to go around, select out A4 size and here the header is going to be Udemy course and footer is going to be notepad. So I'm going to press OK and I'm going to go around onto the print section. So now once that is done, I'm going to save out print to file right here because I want to save it out as a PDF file and then I'm going to hit the print button. So once I go around over here onto desktop, I can save this out as sample document right here. That is a PDF document. That is how it'll be saved out as. And you can see it uses 12 um, 
uh, the pieces right here. And if I were to open this out now, then this is what you have. So if I were to go around right here, then you can see that everything has been generated out as a PDF document just like this. So that is how uh, you can go around and work around with a PDF file right here. Uh, but, uh, and then uh, export out a PDF file out of a notepad, uh, notepad document. So that is how you can uh, start out working out in Notepad and export out a PDF document from beginning to end. We have now come to the end of the course on learning Notepad uh, from scratch. So in this course, we have learned about how we can work around with text on a basic level. And we also seen how we can manage it and uh, export it out in different formats. And also we saw how we can export out our text th uh, that we edited in Notepad in PDF. So now the rest is up to you on how you are going to utilize the application that you learn. And one thing that you should keep on mind is you have to keep on practicing because practice makes perfect. So I'd like to wish you all the best for your journey on uh, managing texts. So hope you all hope you enjoyed uh, learning uh, Notepad with me.